Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. I have a, a three, six, seven, eight, eight card spread here for you. <laughs> and today is going to be about the the moon on October twentieth, the full moon on October twentieth. It is called the Hunter's Moon, and I will explain that why. First, I'd like to say this video is not for kids. If you're under the age of eighteen, please click off now. This channel is my brand. Do not attempt to copy it for any reason. Also, if you um <clears throat> would like to send me a picture i am doing a halloween video october 29th is the last day to get that video in and if you want your picture to be in it with your costume you don't have to wear a costume or whatever please email it my email is down below so you can be in the video all right don't be shy don't be afraid nothing's going to happen to you it's just going to be a video okay um we're doing the Hunter's moon and the energy that is bringing in Mercury has gone direct today. Thank God, because this this Mercury retrograde made me lose my phone and my keys a thousand times. Okay, my computer did not work the whole time, and then today by magic it just started working. So thank goodness the energy for Mercury retrograde is gone. We still have two weeks in the shadow phase, but it's pretty much diminished. Now we have the harvest. Um, I'm sorry, the Hunter's moon. And the reason they call it the Hunter's Moon is because a long time ago, this was when they would start hunting because when the leaves started to fall and the trees and bushes were bare, the hunters were able to see the deer more clear or their prey, whatever it was that were hunting, they were able to see them more clear because the deer couldn't be hide, hide behind the bushes anymore or because, you know, you could see right through the bush because it was just bare. Okay, so it was a good time to hunt for the hunters. So it's called the hunter's moon. And also it brings in an energy of, for you people that are hunting for a new home, hunting for a new car. Do you get what I'm saying? It's a good time to start. Um, if you want to apply for a loan, do that now on October 20th. Now that Margaret Grid has passed, get all that in because you have this energy of this moon to make things happen. All right, write down your affirmations on paper and bring them into existence. I always say that all the time. Whatever you you speak of your mouth is what comes. So be careful what you speak of your mouth because the universe can hear you and you can make actually make it happen. So be careful with what you speak. I keep telling this one friend of mine, you know, to change her attitude or the way she speaks because, you know, I know she's going through a hard time right now, a very hard time because she lost her son. But every day she'll post things like, oh, this, that, negative, you know, negative, negative, negative. I tell her, stop doing that. Okay, start, even if you don't believe the positive, say the positive because you then you can bring it forward and it can the positive can actually happen. All right. So anyway, let's get started with the video. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload another video. All right, so for the first one, I'm just picking up the energy of this moon, and this is for all zodiac signs. I am seeing the lover's card. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I'm seeing new love interest if you're Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or for anyone for that matter. This is you see the angel spreading his wings, so he is blessing this. Um, new love interest this love interest brings in a lot of sexual activity because the people are naked in kind of like adam and eve sexual activity they're naked in the um uh picture and if you notice there's a snake there that tricked eve and there's the apple tree so be careful with this energy when it comes in although it's it's a new love um it's still, this person has sex on the brain, okay? So I do see a lot of that coming in for this new moon, okay? And then we have the emperor here. The emperor is when you are dealing with someone higher up. So I do see a lot of you dealing with someone that's higher up, either a judge or a, uh, could be a teacher, a rabbi, a policeman, whoever. Um, I do see this person, this person that's going to help you out is very passionate because they're wearing red. That brings in a lot of passion. Sorry, I'm um, a little sleepy. But anyway, I'm off today. I did work yesterday, and I stayed up real late last night doing stuff, so I'm a little sleepy right now. But anyway, so I do see some of you that are going to be dealing with authority figures during this new moon. But I do feel like it will turn out okay because this is a positive moon where you can manifest things. So start, you know, like I said, writing things down, manifesting, you know, what you want to happen. 
All right, so for the next one, we have the Ace of Wands. I am seeing new opportunities here. I'm seeing um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius coming in to offer you some, some, some of you new love. Oh, gosh, I forgot my cup. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot to get my cup. This is my one of my Halloween cups. It looks like a pumpkin. I'm drinking sugar-free Gatorade, which is this right here. I get it at Walmart. It has zero sugar, zero calories. The doctor asked me to drink that because I get a lot of leg, leg cramps due to my diabetes. I do have diabetes. I've had it for more than 30 years, and I'm actually okay. I keep it under control because I do zero sugars so and zero carbs. So if you're diabetic, you need to consider that in your diet to eliminate all sugars and carbs. Okay. Back to this. I do see, again, Aries Leon Sagittarius coming in, offering you something new, new love. This also is a baby card, so I do see some of you announcing uh, during this full moon that, or maybe into the next month, that you are going to have a baby from Aries Leon Sagittarius. Um this new moon brings in that energy so some of you will be conceiving during that time as well from an Aries Leo Sagittarius or anybody for that matter but this is new love new opportunity new marriage and new beginning so I do see some of you announcing that as well now that Merc Mercury has gone direct I do see the um this card was like this and during Mercury retrograde excuse me and now it's like this y'all I clean my cards as I go because <laughs> They tend to get dirty. I'm sorry if that bothers you, but I don't have time to clean them all the time, so I do it as I go. So anyway, this card is a Four of Pentacles. It was in the reverse, um, which meant money problems, money troubles, um, bank issues, issues with numbers like 401k plans, things like that. But now it's flipped back up because Mercury Retrograde has gone direct. But I do see some of you still hanging on tight to your money, especially if you're a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Hang on tight to your money. Don't just spend it frivolously, especially during the new moon. Um, uh, continue to check your numbers at the bank. You know, we still have two weeks of shadow phase that are um, still coming through because of the Merc Mercury retrograde. It's very weak, though. The energy is very weak. But continue to check your numbers at the bank. See, make, make sure no one's making a mistake in your 401k plans. Whatever has numbers, okay? Whatever has numbers. Um, do play the numbers I gave you for October during the full moon, or, uh, for the whole month, but especially during the full moon to see if you can win something because I, you do have that, possess that energy. Now, for some of you, I do see the page of swords. This is a Gemini leaving Aquarius that's probably a little bit younger than you. This is someone that's upset. They're upset with you and they're keeping a close eye on you. This is third party spying and this person is ready to cut. You see how he is holding the sword up in the air. Their face is very red, angry. Excuse the background noise or somebody outside cutting grass and is making a lot of noise. I don't know if you can hear it, but I think they're using a weed eater or something. But anyway, there's messages coming through. This is uh, the birds up on top always represents messages. Uh, this person is deep in their mind about you, thinking about you. Um, they're angry. Maybe some of you made a um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn mad or a Gemini Libra Aquarius mad, and they want revenge. So be careful with this person. They're watching you through social media, third party, or sending a third party to look at you, watch you, you know, drive by your house or by your school, your job, or whatever. So be careful with that person there. I do see them coming in. Again, here is the same person, very deceptive and very... Um, uh, ha they use their own power of aggression. Y'all, this is makeup that I get on here. Why? Because I use this table to do my makeup as well. So sometimes little particles of the makeup is left on the table. If I don't clean it right and it gets on my cards. So this is the five of sword. This energy here is bad either way, whether it's in the reverse or in the upright, because this person is very sneaky. Look at his face. He's cunning. He's sneaky. He's someone that wants to take something away from you. And you see how he stole the swords from these two opponents here. And the energy was so strong that they threw their swords down and just walked away. One is hanging his head crying. So this person has this type of energy that's coming in very cunning i'm hearing the word cunning i'm hearing the word sneaky so just be careful because they um 
they are only here to use their power to control okay so they use the power that they don't have to control to make things go their way all right okay so then the next one we have the tower this is the tower of unexpected events i am seeing um something that's about to come up for most likely Taurus work of Capricorn is an unexpected event that's going to happen during the moon or it could be for anyone be careful with this energy because like I said we're still in the two weeks of shadow phase so things still can happen and but I see this is going to be unexpected be careful still with trouble for the next two weeks you could have a car crash or something like that and uh, be prepared you know don't travel if you don't have to or this could be um this happening to someone you know you know something unexpected to some someone you know so just be careful with this energy because this is not a good energy all right so now we have the um uh sorry this is the nine of wands and the uh, swords in the reverse so this represents um trauma that's passing so this could be mean the breakup that y'all had you know then maybe there was a breakup and then here's a trauma that's passing because since this one fell at the end it goes with this one here so that means whatever happened here the trauma is passing so this could have been last month and then the trauma is passing because in the upright this is very a lot of depression self and mind imprisonment things like that but now the trauma is passing and you're not feeling as bad about it as it is or this also could represent someone that you know that's in jail or prison that's being released this month in october too as well all right, y'all. So, yeah. So, I do see for some of you, especially if you're a Gemini and Aquarius, whatever trauma that you had in the last month or during Mercury Retrograde is passing and you're going to get over it. All right. So, yeah, there you go. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Write your affirmations down on paper, especially for the full moon, and pray about those. Bring them into existence because this full moon has a lot of energy to get things done. And since the hunter's moon, that's when the hunters go out and they're able to catch their pray so you will be able to have that same kind of energy so bring that forth as long as it's good don't do nothing bad all right don't write bad things down because then it'll happen to you you don't want to reverse karma on yourself okay don't ever do that don't ever wish bad things on people or uh write things down for bad things to happen to people because you you reverse that karma and it happens to you and you don't want that karma is very very strong and it's real y'all and it can get you all right so be careful with that y'all again if you want your picture in the home video please email it start now all right start now i'm thinking about doing a live tomorrow i'm going to get with xavier and my moderator and see if she's available because i haven't done one in a long time all right y'all thanks for watching don't forget if you'd like to donate to my channel the the cash apps are down below i do appreciate any donation big or small and i'll see you next time Bye bye